He is a Yoshi player. I know I've played him before at least. Oh, oh no, man, he's going he's for the Elegant shake. shake. The Shake, bro. Bro, Elegant started. All of SoCal's trying to pick up the shimmy right there. Sometimes you, you gotta get that movement in your body and just yeah. keep yourself in. Get the blood flowing. Get, get your adrenaline rushing a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, but Sweet T start out here with the scroll up throw into the up air. Look for another one, but Evening is just gonna be able to jump out of it. Okay, nice. That's one thing that I think is gonna be very big to Yoshi in this match, is just being able to double jump armor out of a lot of scores and combo with those Gets in there, nice. Look at this continuous connection here, but I do like the fact that um, Evening kind of falls against Jab Lock and Sweet T with a good follow up. Gets percent, but not, not, not stock yet. Not even a corner. Oh, another jump, another jab block, another dash attack afterwards. Oh, he's just pushing him out. Up air? No, I like the fact coming in there, though. Oh, great B reverse right there, changing his momentum so he landed right behind Sweet T. He had nowhere else to go and avoid that forward jump. Oh, nice. Comes back right to the side of the stage. He's keeping the current landing. Sets up that forwarder because he knows he's got a little bit of a disjoint. Wants to land with it and stop evening to get an opportunity, but he gets the up. Not a kill off stage only. Sets up that raise loop because he wants him to make sure he goes for that low recovery. Yeah. Wants him to go low so, so you know you can look for that huge down air hitbox. Try and get him in. That's not huge anymore, dude. Uh, I mean, it's still huge. Just the sweet spot is in place, dude. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Or it's strong. It's pretty nice. Oh, here's a switch. Up though. Ash's favorite good. Pokemon here. Goes for the kill. Alright, Sweet Pea coming right back here with the side peek. Gets back center stage and continues on a combo. One thing I want to see from Evening, honestly, some text, because this man has been getting like job lock consistent. Mm -hmm. Look, man, if you miss the tech and you don't know what to do with it, don't need to tech the Evening. You might need it. Nice, stops himself right back and goes for Ivasaur for the recovery. That's the beauty of having Pokemon Turner. You can definitely switch it up when you feel the recovery or the edge guard needs to be changed. Yeah, and the other thing is, he's sitting at kind of a dangerous percent. If Evening is able to, you know, throw out something to play fine right now, it would kill Squirtle for sure. Maybe not kill the Ivysaur. <laughs> up throw, great jump right there. If he got stuck on the platform of PS2, uh, somehow we can be up trying to recover it. Forward air, nice. Sets up the edge guard once again. Misses the opportunity, but gets the roll even with the up B. He's putting Evening right back off the stage. Flame forward to stop the recovery and stop the invincibility from the air. Up B, even though he sees the roll, I like the coverage. Yeah, he's relentless. That was such a great edge guard right there from Sweet Tea. Not giving Evening any room to really collect him. Yeah, you definitely want to make sure your opponent is feeling the fury from you. Uh, nice, the Nair misses the up B. Another Nair goes for the ledge. Afterwards, trying to reset right now, but here comes some up tilt for Evening. Doesn't get anything else before uh, Sweet Tea wins the man. Nice another man. Kind of stalling his uh, way back on the stage. He knows he's pretty much got Evening on the high percent. So he's kind of taking a little bit easy way. He's going to make a slip of first. Gets the up B here. Heading him right back off the stage. Just forces the low recovery. Gets the Nair, but no drag down. That was actually really good, though, because he knocked Evening out of his double jump armor. Uh, so we kind of stopped moving, but Evening was able to react to the shoot up. Could really make it to the legends like that. Yeah. How about game one going to Sweet Tea here? Good stuff though, I feel like he went for that forward smash right towards the end because he knows that Ivysaur has that small charge back. Yeah. So I move, he moves her box and also getting a potential, pretty much a whiff punish at that point. And the way that he has been doing at the edge against Evening, pretty much dictated here like, you know what, forward smash him to be the one to take the game. Yeah, man, he's reaching to his backpack. Hero. I, I see. I see what I saw. Some earphones. I thought it was a water bottle. I thought. I thought he was having. Oh, hero. Oh yeah, Sweetie does use hero. Yeah, I mean, I think I saw him say that he wasn't using hero, or maybe no, that was an MSM that he didn't use hero. But he has been using this character pretty seriously. Uh, so I'm not surprised to see it come out in game number two. And it looks like even he's gonna have a bit of a swap as well. King DDD, alright. Yeah, no, I feel, I feel like he's just hovering over the character. He's not actually gonna go King DDD. Yeah, he's just making sure he's over. Oh, he actually is. Wait, hold on. He actually is going King DDD. Okay. 
Okay. Three, two, one, go! Now I'm really curious because I haven't really got to see a lot of hero in tournament play before, you know. Uh, I do know in terms of like some of the hero mains we do have I uh, Tyson, he is a hero as well. Saw the grab hat. I do know uh, in terms of results, he definitely wanted to look out a half percent of his character. Nice. I like the fact you tried to lay the up air. Um, you can't have a follow up after up and get up air up tilt or up air. I think I've seen up air falling up air to back air. I've definitely seen like falling up air up smash. Before. Yeah. Uh, so he's got some stuff off it. It's kind of a small hitbox, so, so that's a good trade off, I think. Um, nice. I like the buff. buff. Yeah, I like the use of the buff. The job is going to be the duty, but you have to stop Gil uh, from setting up the well, He had magic buff. first, but unfortunately with how much the amount of time he had, it would have been much damage or have much range. I, I got a funny story, actually. Earlier today, I was playing a uh, hero in some time with my roommate, and we, I used magic first on the platform in town and said he started hitting it, and the platform moved, and he dragged me away, and they fell out of magic first. Happens, man. Oh, he had accelerated under. The opportunity to cancel it. Yeah, he's looking for the setup, but he's been doing a good job of getting in his face at least capturing him so he can't commit to anything. If, if you choose to use the buff, there's an animation you're stuck in for a little bit, and that's gonna be a free punish. For you. Oh, like it even stole his way back on the stage, trying to hold that forward air to get the back throw, get to the off stage. He circles up on the heel. I like the option. Didn't see Hachi Man probably coming out here. The boom, the boom yep. Big and this. Big hitbox, and it actually has a vortex hitbox, so it as really sucks you in. So you have to be careful about it too, as well. Isn't that easy to dodge out? It comes out so fast. Oh my! The man was able to actually tank the portal and tank the hit and come back with a reversal. He tanked the get up attack. He tanked the portal and then he killed him for it. Sweet Tea only has like a smirk on his face. Like, Alright, well, that was cute. Cool. Goku has a lead here. No nope. good opportunity though. He went for the neutral getup, so that he would have been probably would have caused by sneezing that up earlier. Yeah, I mean it's definitely worth the risk to take it. You know, it's projectile, so it's not going to get punished too hard for that. Nice, slowly gets the back air one more, trying to space another one, but unfortunately miss spaces. It gets grabbed. He's really looking for a follow up, and he, at this point he's going for the inhale. I see. I was going to say, I, I guess see Sizzle definitely come out, and that's going to be the one thing not going to take the stock. Not as follow, not as strong as the Sizz. Gets accelerate, he's got speed. Pretty much very reminiscent of Silk Jump. Alright, he gets the forward and he gets the stop. Yeah, that accelerator is so crazy. Yeah. So, like, it's like what happens. When, it's like what happens when you when you when you put speed R and jump R and together yeah. just, Except none of the like downsides <laughs> Yeah. You, you, you pretty much become a foil with really good jumps with the speed. Good opportunity to go for the fully charged move can be. Down throw, I like going for the move here. That will work on the heavy, but you have to be careful because it work on a lot of the other characters. Alright, but I'm liking the patience of seeing that he's not trying to get into these things. Instead, there's, you know, options to use these things and use these to keep the out. Yeah, he's out of MP. That up tilt though did buy him some MP, and even damage on shield will also regenerate MP. Down throw, nice. Look for the fall, but great directional air dodge coming out from the back throw. This is his edge guard opportunity, man, when he go off, but he only goes for smooth speed, he's still able to survive. The thing about him going for menu also is that you do have a high, Yeah, and it has a higher chance of appearing if you're off stage. Yeah, I read something about that. It's like if you're specifically close to the blast zone, not just off stage, it has like a much higher chance than that. Yeah, and after you zoom, you still get to jump as well. Yeah, you can give you your jump back if you yeah. didn't have to come in the first place. So it's crazy good. You know, definitely check for it. Nice, gets a forward air. Good opportunity. He's got bounce. Great, he's gonna reflect portals automatically and accelerate. He's got heal, dude. Look at these buffs. All the way to this man, he's pretty much taking the time. Look, if you want to go ahead and try to play this. He has so many balls. Yeah. And I like evening. I was going to say, I'd go for bounce one more time, but he only goes for the boom. He's, he's, out, he's out of MP. He's ran out of mana. I kind of like the choice for evening that he's burnt all of Sweet Tea's MP. Yeah, just by saying. Like, he's kind of let things but, run its course. But that's the unfortunate side. He should have been probably looking to stop. Um, Sweet Tea, but at the same time, you don't want to try to stop your opponent even though when you're in menu because you might actually find an option and they'll reach for it. Basically, can you get a throw or. Yep, I'll do it. Yep, boom, fuck, throw. No, that's what I'm talking about. He let it run its course, but, and I respect it, but at the same time, even though if I, if I were him, 
even with balance, I would have definitely been tossing in Gordos to probably get him to stop yeah, the least, menu and then go for an approach. At least make, you know, don't make it easy. Yeah, don't never make it easy for your opponent. 